Hello my chariots, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my series of A Fool's Journey. Uh, and this is the introduction. So I was really guided to wanting to tell you guys the story of tarot. Um, if you look at the tarot cards, really it's a story about the fool and his journey through life. And oftentimes you will hear tarot readers and experts talk about a fool's journey and, and that's what it's all about, the story behind the tarot cards. So when you're learning tarot, you know, it can be overwhelming um, as you learn the cards because a traditional tarot deck contains 78 cards and that's a lot to remember. So one of the easier ways is by trying to put together pieces of a story. And I just wanted to give a shout out to my tarot instructor, Charlotte, um, at Happy Souls 1111. Um, I've been taking her tarot class and it's just been tremendous and it's really um, helped me. So if you're interested in learning about her, definitely check out her um, YouTube channel. I'll leave the link below. Um, she's such a wonderful person. Um, and I just love uh, listening to her and you know hearing about her experiences. So I was guided to actually create this series for anyone that's interested in learning tarot and wants to know more about the tarot cards. So today I'm just providing that little introduction of what the series is going to be. Um, if you take a look at the 78 cards of the tarot deck, the first 22 cards are considered the major arcana. And then we have the last, the 56 um, cards, which is considered the minor arcana. Um, now the major arcana, they're basically, you know, the monumental life-changing events that occurs in someone's life. Uh, we could have marriage, falling in love, getting a new job, moving to a new country, moving to a new state, um, moving, you know, buying a new home. So it's those monumental um, changing, you know, timelines that occur. So the cards are very bold. They're very dramatic, um, you know, and they have great meaning. Whereas the rest of the cards, the minor arcana, um, they're known as your, say, your everyday situations, you know, your everyday cards that help you get through life, how you deal with problems and issues on a daily basis. Um, and included in those 56 cards are also the court cards, and the court cards are broken down into different personalities as well that we'll learn about along the way. So, you know, as you learn tarot, you know, you kind of want to break them down. So I will go through each of the 22 major arcana cards. Um, major arcana is um, known in Latin as major secrets or greater secrets. And then the minor arcana is, you know, known as lesser secrets. So I will go through these first 22 cards first and then we'll dive into uh, the minor arcana and they're actually broken up into four suits. Um, you'll also hear the minor arcana. They are called pip cards, but they you know, are broken down into your um, pentacles, your swords, your wands, and your cups. So each suit has an actual meaning and we'll learn that along the way. Um, in addition, you know, each of the cards are associated with an element, an elemental association, which is very essential to astrology. So I plan to discuss the elements of each card so I can bring astrology um, into the lessons as well. I've always had a love for ast astrology. So, you know, learning about how um, each of these cards are represented by a planet or a zodiac sign. You know, when it comes to astrology shows how everything is all intertwined. So I, I plan to bring that into um, each segment as well. And then also, you know, it's important to, to look at the numbers on the cards. The numbers are also very, you know, they represent stages um, 
or stations on the journey of one's life and they're important as well. So sometimes when you just take a look at all the little things, instead of trying to memorize every single card, which can be very difficult, once you understand the story behind it, um, it makes it easier. Now, it is important, I feel, when you are first learning tarot to make sure that you're buying a standard tarot deck and you will see this in the um, the Rider Waite uh, tarot decks. I have the Rider Waite, the Radiant tarot deck. And then I also have this um, Smith Waite, the tarot deck, the Centennial edition. And these are your standard tarot decks. And that's how, to me, you know, this was the first deck that I bought and I found it, you know, it's easiest to learn with one of the Rider Waite tarot decks and then you can move on and add to your collection because um, there's so many tarot decks out there with beautiful artists, illustrators, and authors, you know, that have their own interpretation of what each card means. So once you get a little bit idea behind the story, then it's easier to bring your own, you know, intuition in to how you read the cards and how you see them. So as I go through each card, you know, I will definitely be using the Rider weight to explain everything. But then I did, you know, I'm going to pull in, you know, recently I bought a new tarot deck. This is by Barbara Moore. This is the Wizard's Tarot, which seems like a fabulous uh, deck. Um, it's beautiful, you know, beautifully um, designed. Um, the pictures are great. And then also I have here another deck that I just purchased. It's called the Magical Nordic deck. And it's all about, you know, the tarot cards, but also introducing um, Norse mythology along the way, which, you know, um, there's a lot of pictures in here showing the, nor the Northern lights and they're, they're just really pretty. So. I thought, you know, I can use the standard to show you and then also a couple other decks just to show you how they interpret the cards as well. So I will be creating a playlist and um, you will be able to find each card in there if anytime you want to go back and take a review or understand what the card, the cards themselves mean, they'll be separated so you can find them easily um, and then go back at any time. So this is basically just the introduction today to let you know that I'm kicking off this series and you know throughout my regular readings you will see me posting um, and adding to the full journeys uh, series that you know I am creating um, and you can you know if you are interested in learning tarot or just interested in learning about the cards you can check them out as well. So thank you so much for all my followers so far. I'm so grateful for, for all the support and I'm so excited that I'm able to, you know, do this and bring what I'm learning along the way to anybody who enjoys hearing about it as well. So stay tuned. Um, we'll obviously be starting with the full since it is the full's journey. So we need to learn all about him and he will be the first card coming up when I post again. Bye.